Dr. Lisa, what's the number one question your patients ask? How to have a pain-free period. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm yeah. going to tell you exactly what happens in a woman's body and how to make it pain-free. And the key, ladies, is to think ahead. Think ahead. Know when your period's going to come. So this lady is on her period. And all of you ladies know, right before a period starts, we get bloated. It's awful. One of the things that you can do, well, that people don't know, is, and you want to do ahead of time, is decrease the salt. Also, if this little belly is not due to bloating, but actually due to actual fat, that can actually cause more estrogen and cause your periods to be even worse and heavier. So lose weight, but also think about the bloating ahead of time. Now, the other thing that we absolutely hate is cramps. So this poor uterus, what, what can you do? You may be surprised, caffeine, decreasing the caffeine a week beforehand will actually help with cramps. Now, remember, what happens with the period? Basically, the lining of the uterus, it's not the blood in your body, but the lining of the uterus and a little bit of blood is shed every month, and that is your period. Okay, that's the blood that you see. But what you have to remember is this is just what happens in the uterus. The ovaries produce a lot of hormones that cause that mood swings and the PMS, but what they can also cause is they can cause you to have headaches afterwards by these dramatic, you know, uh, raises and, and lowering of the hormones. So again, you may want to take some ibuprofen or something like that a week beforehand, and that will alleviate that. Wow. All right? And now we know how to have pain-free periods. And but I've got something if you have heavy periods, because we used to, as gynecologists, we used to just do hysterectomies on every woman that had, you know, heavy periods, and that was our cure. Now we have so many more options, and this one is actually called Her Option, so I actually like the name. There you go. And it's a procedure that can be done in office. And basically, you use this probe, and it's, it's, it's a cryoablation, so it's using sub-zero temperatures. And this is placed up into the uterus through the cervix. You can dilate it or not, and actually the probe will touch one side of the uterus, it'll freeze it, then it'll be removed, and then it'll be placed on another side of the uterus, and it'll do freezing on that side till it has frozen the inside layer, and then that, that dead tissue isn't gonna shed, and you'll have lighter periods, if, if not no period at all. This takes about 15 minutes, it's non-hormonal, it can be done in the office, it's not for women who want to have babies afterwards, so you have to be done with childbearing, but it's a definite option to surgery, to hormones, um, to other procedures that we do to try and decrease heavy bleeding. Thanks, Dr. Lisa. You're welcome.